Good day scoopers. Welcome to our online class. I am your teacher Dags, this is our third day of learning. I hope that you remember all the important details that we studied in our past lessons. Because our topic for today is just a continuation of those learnings. Today, we are going to talk about the types of plate boundaries. Are you ready to scoop additional ideas? Get your scoop full today, and enjoy learning with me. Here at the Science Scoop, your daily scoop of knowledge. These cars on a busy road may somehow show us how plate boundaries interact to one another. To know how and why these cars can represent the type of plate boundaries. Let us start our day 3 of scooping science ideas. Are you ready? Come on and let's hit the book now. The objectives of our lesson today are Identify the three types of plate boundaries. Our second objective is to demonstrate how these types of plate boundaries differ from one another. And the last objective is to explain each type of plate boundaries. To start our class, let us have this basic hand movements. For movement A, move your hands toward each other like this figure. Can you do this? Let's do it together now. Nice one. Now let's do movement B. Put your hands together as our starting position. Then, slowly, move your hands apart. Let's do it in 3, 2, 1, go. For the last movement, movement C goes like this. Put your hands side to side as our starting position. Then move one hand forward and for the other hand. Move it backward. Move your two hands as if they are sliding past each other. Don't forget these simple moves because it will help you remember the lesson you will learn today. Is that clear? The movements we have just done are somehow similar with the movements of the cars in a busy road. Some cars move toward each other. Some cars move away from each other and other cars move side by side on a heavy traffic day. These situations can simulate our lesson for today which is the types of plate boundaries. As plate tectonic theory suggests, plates move slowly yet continuously. As the plates move in various directions, they tend to either move towards each other, or move away from each other. There are plates that move side by side too. This is a virtual simulation of plate movements. And as our discussion goes, we will try to describe how neighboring plates move. This map shows the direction of the movements of each plate to its neighboring plates. Using the arrow heads you can tell or describe how neighboring plates behave. So at this point let us name the three types of plate boundaries. The three types of plate boundaries are named as convergent boundaries, divergent boundaries, and transform fault boundaries. As we do our hand movements A, B and C we can show the three types of plate boundaries. Movement A shows convergent boundaries because the hands move toward each other. Movement B shows separating hands and represents diverging boundaries. Movement C shows sliding past and simulate the transform fault boundary. Convergent boundaries happen when two tectonic plates move toward each other. This type of plate boundaries make the plates to collide or bump to one another. The next type of plate boundaries, the divergent boundaries, is the exact opposite of the convergent boundaries. Divergent boundaries occur when two plates move away from each other. The plates are divided and move separately. The last type of plate boundaries happen when two plates slide past each other. Plates move side by side. In other words, one plate glides to the other. 
That sounds good. I am sure you won't forget the lesson. Just always, remember our hand movement techniques. Now that you know the three types of plate boundaries. Let us have some practice exercise naming the type of plate boundaries. All you need to do is to look for the arrowheads to know how plates move. You have to name the type of boundaries in 5 seconds. After that given time, you will see whether you name it right or not. There are 12 items. The first two items will set as our examples. 10 items will be your activity on your own. I hope that you get more than half of the perfect score. Good luck! Example 1. Can you tell what type of boundaries are North American plate and Eurasian plate? After hearing this question look for their arrows located by a bouncing loop. Here they are. Now, study the arrow heads. Look whether they are moving toward to each other, or they are moving separately or they are sliding past each other before giving your answer. The arrows show that the plates move separately so this pair of plates show diverging boundaries. Doing the same procedures. Let us have our example too. Can you tell what type of plate boundaries are South American plate and Nazca plate? Here they are. Can you name it now? You are right. They are converging plates because the arrow shows that they move toward one another. Now, you should answer the following on your own. Remember that you only have 5 seconds for each item. What kind of plate boundaries are Pacific Plate and North American Plate? They are convergent boundaries. Number 2. Can you tell what kind of boundaries are this part of Pacific Plate and North American Plate? The plates glide against each other show and transform fault boundaries. Number 3. What kind of plate boundaries are South American plate and African plate? The two plates show divergent boundaries. Number 4. Can you tell what kind of boundaries are Pacific plate and Antarctic plate? Of course. They are also divergent boundaries because they are moving apart. Number 5. Can you tell what kind of boundaries are Cocos Plate and Caribbean Plate? The two are moving toward each other. They are convergent boundaries. Number 6. Can you tell what kind of boundaries are Australian Plate and Pacific Plate? They are convergent boundaries. Let's move to next number. Number 7. Can you tell what kind of plates boundaries are Cocos plate and Nazca plate? Cocos and Nazca plates show diverging boundaries. Number 8. What kind of plate boundaries are Philippine plate and Eurasian plate? The two plates show converging boundaries. Number 9. Can you tell what kind of boundaries are Arabian plate and Indian plate? These two are transform fault boundaries. They move side by side. For the last number. Number 10. Can you tell what kind of boundaries are Pacific plate and Philippine plate? The Philippine plate moves toward to the Pacific plate and show convergent boundaries. That practice exercise is super easy right? Now that you have mastered how and when to tell the type of plate boundaries showed by two plates. Let us go deeper to our discussion. And guess what? Our discussion for today will only serve as introduction to each type of boundaries. We will study each of them deeply next time. And as I promised before, you will know how landforms like volcanoes and mountains are formed. 
Also, you will realize how new ocean floor appears. Are you excited to know them all? Do not worry. You will always get my update as long as you attend my class. Do not get late. Scoopers should scoop as early as possible. To do that, subscribe on this channel and hit the notification bell. You will definitely hear what you need to know as long as you are diligent and attentive. But for now, let us finish our business for today. Convergent boundaries are also known as destructive boundaries. When two plates collide the Earth's crust is being destroyed in some ways. However, this type of boundaries lead to the formation of geologic features like mountains and volcanoes. Converging plates cause earthquakes. Sometimes, when two plates collide, it results to tsunamis too. There are three types of converging plates, continental crust to oceanic crust, oceanic crust to oceanic crust, and continental crust to continental crust. The dividing or diverging boundaries are also called as the constructive boundaries. The splitting plates will result to the formation of new crust usually happens on the seafloor. Thus, this type of plate boundaries will result to wider oceans. The event also leads to the appearance of geologic features like rift valleys and ocean ridges. There are two possible kinds of diverging boundaries. Oceanic crust and oceanic crust separation and continental crust and continental crust separation. The last type of plate boundaries is the transform fault boundaries. With this type of boundaries, the two plates slide past or glide against each other. The Earth's crust is neither created nor destroyed. For this reason, this type of boundaries is also known as the conservative type. The gliding of plates will result to earthquakes. There are two possible kinds, the oceanic crust gliding to another oceanic crust, and continental crust gliding with another continental crust. That's our lesson for today. Do you find it easy? Let me see your mastery. I have here another set of activities. This time you will use your visual ability. You need a sheet of paper and a pen. I have 10 items. In every item, I will show you two boxes containing either illustration or words. If you find that the boxes are both about a specific type of boundaries write capital letter M which stands for matched. And if the contents seen in both boxes pertain to two types of boundaries write a capital letter U, which means that they are not matched. You have only 5 seconds to finalize your answer. After that given time the answer will be shown. Check your answer. If you get a perfect score, I can say that you really clearly understand the topic. If you get a mistake, you can watch and study that part again. I hope that my instruction is clear, so. Let's start the activity now. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. It is AU. They are not a good match. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. They are matched. So it must be M. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. It is AU. They are not a good match. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. It is AU. They are not a good match. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. They are matched. So it must be M. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. They are matched. So it must be M. Look at box A and B. 
Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. It is AU. They are not a good match. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. They are matched. So it must be M. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. It is AU. They are not a good match. Look at box A and B. Are they matched or unmatched? Write your answer now. It is AU. They are not a good match. That is our lesson for today. Do not forget this lesson because this is just our introduction to each type of boundaries, as I have mentioned earlier, we have deeper studies on each type. We will be discussing convergent boundaries first. In hitting convergent boundaries, you will clearly realize how mountains and volcanoes and other geologic features are formed. Do you wonder why converging boundaries are called destructive? Yet. This type results to mountains or volcanoes. You will know about this next lesson. To make our lesson easier for you, review about lithospheric plates which we have already studied. Let us end today with this line. Nothing happens until something moves. By Albert Einstein. Time is up. Enjoy your day. See you tomorrow.